You're gonna see different data from the one that I have here. It is not gonna say buy milk, it is not going to say wash dishes. It is going to have the data that I have sent. Mocked item to complete and mocked item completed. And well, as you can see, well, I'm spying the, 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 the get request that I'm that I'm well actually having after doing a refresh in the website. And every everything is, is as expected, right? We're receiving the, the correct data from from the api hey masters welcome back to join media welcome back to another good video of webdriver.io this is the framework that we are exploring right now uh, this framework allows you to perform ui tests in web pages and also probably in mobile applications right um but in this case we're we're gonna be testing this to do's application okay uh, basically this to do's application uh, well allows you to add a to do in your list so let's imagine that i need to uh, watch tv in uh, right it is going to be a to do <laughs> i want to watch a tv show in the afternoon for example uh, so you can add that particular to do in your list and well you can click on on this button and the to do as soon as you have completed that it is going to be well it is going to have a kind of line through in the label and well you're going to make sure that your to do is already done and in case you want to delete it well you can click on this x button and well the, the to do is going to be deleted um this is actually happening because we have a kind of uh, a small API, well, actually running in the background. And as soon as the website is reloaded, these uh, to-dos are coming from an API request, okay? That particular API request is a get one. That particular get one is requesting the APIs from the to-dos endpoint, okay? And you're gonna see that the response is coming in the form of an array with different objects inside, okay? Every single object has the property of every to-do. And as you can see, the first object has the title with the buy milk information they completed is false so it doesn't have the line through here right and also the id is the number one and we have the same situation in the second element but the change is that the id is number two right that's the only difference and also the the title as well of course okay um well but the idea in this video is that i want to explain you how you can mock this get request let's imagine that you don't have a background or i'm sorry an api already configured okay and you want to have a kind of mock request to bring your inf to actually send information to the to the ui right so i'm going to try to explain you how you can do it okay I want to mention, and it is this is important that this get request actually is is automatically generated when we refresh the website, okay? Or the very first time that the website is is uh, loaded, okay? But I'm gonna be well playing with the with the refresh because I'm gonna that's the way that I'm gonna be handling the mocking using WebDriver.io, okay? Okay, let's 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 continue. Let's see my code here, okay? I I do have a JavaScript already configured and and well, actually, ready to, to explain you and run. And I'm going to try to explain you step by step what is happening, okay? In the line number three over here, you're going to see, I'm sorry, the line number four, I already have a constant declared name to do, or yeah, to do list mock, okay? This constant is going to be a, a kind of mock, right? Or a listener, okay? What I'm going to be doing is using the browser that mock function that WebDriver.io has. And as you can see, I'm currently listening to that to do's endpoint. Remember that this get request is, well, receiving or actually, yeah, making a get request to that to do's endpoint. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing over here, but I'm just listening using mock. Okay. And then I'm specifying, <clears throat> I'm sorry that the method that i want to listen to is get okay so that's basically the idea of this the to-do list mock is is like a, a kind of listener to this particular endpoint with this method over here okay then i'm gonna be visiting the website localhost 3000 which is the the localhost uh, well website that i have right now and then i'm gonna be using a function that we have in webdriver.io which is to-do list mock that respond this response is going to be, well, 
it's going to be sending the information that I want in the same way that I'm, well, actually receiving the response here. It's going to be an array, right? Let me show you this. This array is going to contain two objects, but instead of having the information that I have already, well, provided by, by the API, I'm going to be, well, sending or responding with my own information. I'm going to be sending the title mocked item to complete and the ID, the same one, but the completed is going to be false, okay? And the second item is going to have the title mocked item completed and take, take a look of this. The completed property is going to be set to true, okay? And the ID is the number true. Two, I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, as, as soon as I have responded with this, I'm going to refresh the website to, well, actually have the new data in our UI. And you're going to see that it works because if I uh, comment these particular assertions, but I will actually uh, activate the debug mode, you're going to see the changes in the UI. Let me show you this. Mm -hmm. uh, it is going to open Google Chrome right now. You're going to see that probably as soon as the, the, the Chrome is actually running and, and my local host is is well actually in running mode using webdriver io you're gonna see different data from the one that i have here it is not gonna say buy milk it is not going to say wash dishes it is going to have the data that i have sent mocked item to complete and mocked item completed and well that's basically the idea of mocking right well actually kind of simulate or yeah simulate a, a request that probably is not configured or maybe if you have an scenario that you want to accomplish automa automate it right that you want to automate some test case and, and you need a particular scenario like this one a completed scenario you can force the 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 mocking to to have that particular well kind of, kind of configuration right so uh, well i'm gonna just exit the debug mode and i'm gonna be running again the the test but now using assertions okay let me explain you what is going to be happening basically it is going to check in the ui that the first label has mocked item to complete and the second item has mocked item completed okay that's basically it and i, I also have a third assertion here it is and it is going to be checking that the label when it has the completed property while well, the class is is going to be completed it is uh, automatically set. Let me show you this. If I inspect this and if I check the, um, the LI, right? This one over here, I, if I'm not wrong, you're gonna see that the completed class is gonna be appended here automatically, okay? So I wanna make sure that it, it is actually working or not when it has the completed, um, well, uh, the completed property set to true. So you're going to see that the assertion is working correctly. You're going to see that the mocking is working as expected over here. Okay, guys. So let's continue with another example. And it is about the spying. Okay. It is very interesting. And I want to show you st step by step how you can accomplish this using web driver. Okay. Um, let me show you this. Uh, basically over here, you're going to see that using a spy, Mm, I'm gonna have this example, okay? I I'm gonna be using the same get request that I have as soon as we refresh the website, okay? But uh, it is gonna change a bit because uh, instead of sending dummy data to the UI, I wanna make sure that data that I I'm receiving from the from the backend is the correct one, all right? So for example, let's imagine that you wanna make sure that the first to do has the, well, for example, um, the, the correct response uh, so uh, let me show you this that in in this object we have the title by milk the, the id is the number one i don't know why but you want to make sure that it works and the completed is set to false and uh, uh, the same thing with the title over here with the second to do okay so you're go you want to actually um make sure that that particular get request has that data for some reason okay you can apply the same uh, example right for example if if you want to make sure that after create a new to do right you want to capture for example uh, the post request this one let me show you this this uh, as soon as you add a new to do in the ui you want to make sure that it has the correct title it has the well it at least has an id right also if the completed is automatically set to false the first time that you create a, a post uh, well on you to do and the change only change here is that you you have to listen to the post um 
well actually post requests right instead of get right that's that, that's the method that we're using in this example but that's the same logic i just wanted to give you a, a kind of example of how you can spy an api okay so let me um well refresh the website and let me explain you what is going to be happening here it is going to be kind of the same stuff i have declared a, a a variable here named spy get to do's okay and i'm doing the same stuff i'm currently listening to the to do's endpoint with the actually to, to in particular to the get requests okay and i have defined a like three different variables a to do one to do two and a response code okay just just uh, well remember that because i'm gonna be using this in in a moment and uh, well i'm gonna be visiting the the my website i'm gonna refresh the website and you're gonna see how this works okay i'm gonna well actually uncomment those those lines and i'm gonna be um well commenting the the rest of the assertions because i want to explain you what is happening okay i'm gonna run this and you're gonna see what is gonna happen. Um, let me show you what I'm logging here. I'm gonna be logging the the well the spy that I'm doing the the constant or or the variable in this case let. Okay. Also, I'm gonna be um, well it's actually logging the information that I need. I need to check the body and, and some information. Let me explain you what is gonna happen. Okay. Mm, let me show you this. There it is. What is happening here is that the the full spy get to do's okay it has a lot of information it has the browser it has the configurations and we also have the matches and this is the important thing that we want okay these matches it has all the information that the spy has right you're gonna see here that we have one match for this particular endpoint with this particular get and we have a body here it, it is an array so what i'm doing here is that i i'm accessing right the the match in the position zero because i only have one object here and i'm accessing the body okay and the body actually has uh, this particular information let me show you this this is the body it has two different objects inside of an array right and every single object has all the data that we need it has the title completed and id and, and the id okay um what i'm doing then is basically uh, also while displaying the status code that it has let me show you this it is 200 okay and um let me see what else i'm i'm well, actually testing or uh, uh, logging in the console, I'm logging the body zero position, which means that it is going to be this one over here. Let me show you this one. I'm just um, logging the body position zero, which is well the, the first to do list to do in the list. Okay. So once that we know what is happening <laughs> in in the in the in the background, I can comment on these lines and make the assertions that I want. Okay. Let me show you this. The first to do a variable, the to do one, is gonna be referencing the, the body zero position, which is the first to do, right? The same stuff for the second to do, but instead of zero, I'm using the number one, and also I'm getting the status code in this variable. Then I'm just doing some expects, some assertions to make sure that the to do one has the title by milk. The, the ID is the number one and the completed is false. And the same stuff for titled ID and completed. Let me show you this. The to do, to do number two should have the title wash dishes, the ID number two and the completed false, okay? And the response goes should be 200, okay? That's basically what is happening. And if I run this over here, you're gonna see that probably while the execution is gonna be working as expected. Let's see. I hope that it works actually. Hmm. Okay, the, the execution is in progress. Let's let's wait for a few seconds. In the meantime, I just wanted to, well, actually ask you for your support. Please subscribe to this channel. It is motivate it is going to motivate me a lot because well I, I'm just doing this for fun and I hope that you you kind of appreciate the, the, the effort. Okay guys, thank you very much. And as you can see, well I'm spying the, 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 the get request that I'm that I'm well actually having after doing a refresh in the website and every everything is is expected right we're receiving the the correct data from from the api as soon as i refresh the, the website and that's that's good right so guys i i highly recommend you to come here and check the mocks and spies documentation 
but I think that it was useful for you guys. I hope that you uh, well kind of understand uh, how you well a, a, at least a kind of baseline of what you can do. And thank you very much, guys. This was Young Media, and see you in the next one.